Okay guys, so once again, we are locked and loaded. For today's update, we are going to take a closer look at the highlights from Andy Cruz's pro debut fight. The highly decorated Cuban amateur standout, now turned pro, put on a superb and totally dominant performance to claim his first victory. After reviewing the fight, I will share my observations and perspectives so that you have my full take on the Cuban star Andy Cruz. So without further ado, let's get into the madness. And the bell has sounded. Normally, you would find boxers doing like maybe four rounds for their first fight. But Andy Cruz has, you know, just been brought into deep waters. Burgos has actually fought against um, Devin Haney. This fight does well to place Andy Cruz in a position. has already separated himself in terms of the speed nice defense there he is faster so he should look to attack and when he can counter attack the team that Andy Cruz has might be a very good fit moving less facing veterans you know you know he's a piston style jab he just needs to catch and shoot there good Highly dynamic, you know, he does head hunting and he hurt him from these head punches. You can see his head just snap a jab or straight. 
Oof. What do you think their game plan was? They have a great punch count. And Fashnos is a true tackle. Oh, nice counters. Mosey is trained. Oh. So look, put it together. This is it. He fights like a video game guy, doesn't he? Just in and out, sideways. Oh, I like it. See more. We saw some fights. Wallace debut. Keeps up with his opponent. Counter. You know, sometimes he blocks. Good work, bro. Amazing. Unanimous decision for Andy Cruz in his pro debut fight. Okay, guys, so there we have it. A solid win for Andy Cruz. Now, what do we know about him? Defense. Well, for starters, he evades a large number of attacks by utilizing his sharp footwork to step out of range quickly. He has swift, responsive head movement that allows him to comfortably slip and dodge his opponent's punches. His hands are extremely active and defensively sound, constantly looking to block and to catch his opponent's advances. With respect to his attacks, his attacks are well coordinated, moving both hands and feet simultaneously. He possesses a lightning fast jab that travels with pinpoint accuracy it frequently surprises opponent upon impact when punching in combinations he puts together a wonderful array of punches targeting both head and the body focusing on his movement he moves with exceptional footwork ability characterized by the elegant cuban flow that keeps him a constant moving target while still boxing accurately and effectively. His dynamic coordination enables him to move with a wide degree of freedom and perform with adept stance switches from which he develops the impetus behind his overwhelming attacks. I think the only concern that I have with him at this early stage is to hold his feet in range more and look to catch and counter his opponents more often as he has amazing reflexes that he can make good use of. When we take a look at his newly appointed legendary Philadelphian pro coach, Derek Bozienis. Come on, baby. Jet, look at that jet. I did it, cuz. There you go, another one. There's another one. There's another one. I mean, you know, there's another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. And then look at his son, Jaron Boots Ennis. We can quickly come to the conclusion that new protein behind Andy Cruz might be the perfect fit for him. The mixture of strong fundamentals, superior fitness and dazzling flamboyance seems to align with both the Cuban and the Philadelphians. Okay guys, so that is my take for now. I will look to update these ideas as Andy fights more often. Leave a like, hit me up in the comment section and subscribe to the channel. Until my next video, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.